Um, thought we had a pretty decent start, and then uh, we allowed for Perth to, to stay in and the crowd to be effective, and then they sort of grew. They grew a little bit, and before you know it, we were chasing our tails in the middle of the part. And I thought uh, I was disappointed at halftime of where we were at, um, things that we had given up, and I spoke to the boys about it, and I thought uh, clearly it was good to see the fight and get back in front. Normally we we get close to um, the scoreline to be in tie, but we never get over the hump. We got back in front, and I think uh, as that last patch happened, we sort of teetered out. We got a little tired. Um, we allowed them to get get some easy buckets and some easy looks, which obviously keeps pressure on, on us. You work on the boards and in the paint and pass a couple of times against Perth were terrific and, and led particularly the last time out then could win the difference tonight. What was the difference you thought? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that uh, our mindset, uh, I think... Uh, our mindset, I mean, we had a pretty good week, I like to think, and coming into the game, I thought we'll have a good start, but as the game took place, I think it sort of doing it, and I was a little upset about that and let them know, and then, but overall, like, players make plays, and again, they stood up and made some, some big plays. Everyone on their team stood up and had their moment and shine. Uh, it's, I mean, it's basketball's a game of runs. You hear that a lot, you know. Um, so you get three shots from the three-point line. Like I got a guy here, could go make nine out of ten. So you know, it's how do you take that away? And if you overhelp, you can go to give something up on the other side. So people can get hot. It's more of how do you control that? You got to make sure you execute at the other end of the floor. So take the air out, uh, and then obviously come back and tighten up a few things on the defensive end. And um, I think our communication wasn't wasn't great. Um, Throughout the game, and obviously played played into their hands. Mm. Well, Alex came in, and I thought he played a, a, a great a great role for us. Um, Wiz was sick, you know, and when you're sick, it's got next man up. You know, praising for his efforts and coming in and contributing and being ready and locked in. Um, I thought. Tory came in, made some big shots. Again, his energy and effort, his strength around the around the basket to be able to hit, uh, knock down some shots, and be able to slide his feet. I thought he did a, a good job. And uh, again, came back to, you know, we took some poor shots, which led to a few few points and a few more breakdowns. And as I said, if our communication I thought was better, I think we would have been able to dig ourselves out of and got away with a win, come away with a win. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I just think that's an excuse to use. I think it's just what he said. Our communication was poor for whatever reason. I don't know. It's obviously hard to just pinpoint an exact reason. I don't think it was a noise issue. I just think no one was really um, talking to the level that we needed to, and obviously it hurt us. We had a pretty good feeling and very excited the past two or three weeks. been playing good basketball. What do you, how do you... Take what you take from this game now after losing, making sure that you jump back before I think you've got Tasmania next week. Yeah, I think it's uh, you know, kind of what just CJ's been talking about. Um, I don't think you know it's it wasn't an X's and O's or you know a game plan um, loss. It was more of just the effort plays, offensive rebounds obviously killed us, um, second chance points, you know, a lot more field goal attempts, things like that. So. When you give a talented offensive team, you know, multiple chances, obviously your uh, chances of, you know, falling behind get higher. So um, we just got to get back to the drawing board, get back to the basics um, and clean up the rebounds. And we had a stretch. I don't know what quarter it was. We had a lot of turnovers too. Um, just control those two things. And I think we'll be on a, uh, the other end. So how did you prepare for when you got a team who you know eventually you're going to hit straps that are struggling defensively? Is it no, I think everyone comes out like we're all desperate to, to win games and continue to win and build momentum. Um, it's, it's it's more of who's willing to do the basketball one-on-one things. That's how that's how this game is played. Like you look across the board, 
like anyone can beat everyone and we'll shift and we'll move around and you guys will tell your stories about how this is going but executing in in the half court the I guess for the scouting for every club here I think everyone does a pretty good job then it will come down to the players making players and decision and this is why you have guys like Bryce Cotton and Trey Kill and DJ and all these guys around the league that we, we talk about as stars and how they make big plays but the basketball one-on-one in between the lines it will come down to who has heart who has energy and who can do the little things in the basketball one-on-one to get the win and that tonight that was Hiram Harris. Well, good. Thank you.